Hey guys, it's Michael from Memberful. Today we are gonna talk about retention discounts. We're gonna talk about what they are and how you can start using them right now inside your own membership to protect and grow your long-term recurring revenue. But first things first, what is a retention discount? A retention discount is an offer that you extend to members who have canceled their membership, but not yet reached the expiration date of their membership. And your retention discount has one primary objective, and that is to prevent a member from completely churning out of your membership. Now, if we look at the membership industry across the board, 40 to 55% of cancellations that occur do so based on price alone. And that's because you can be guaranteed that every member will reach a point in the life cycle of membership where a change in circumstances forces them to revisit the price they're paying for a given product at any point in time. And that is precisely the member that this feature is aimed at helping you, the membership operator, serve. The longstanding member who has shown loyalty in the membership, who's had a change in circumstances, and could gladly retain at a discounted rate rather than completely churning out of your membership. So if you're ready to learn how to implement this feature inside your membership, along with a few best practices to ensure your success, let's dive right in and take a look. So when you're ready to get started with retention discounts, navigate to discounts and retention in the dashboard. And this is the page where we'll create all of the individual retention discounts that we may want to offer to members who canceled their subscriptions. Now at a high level, there's two components involved to retention discounts. There's the creation of the discount and there's the delivery of the discount to the member who cancels. This part of the process right here is where we'll actually create the retention discount. And once the discount has been created and a member is eligible, we will send an automated email to that member one hour after they cancel their subscription that presents the offer that you create in this step to that member. So let's look at the first part of the process here, the creation of the retention discount itself. You get to specify a set of criteria that will determine whether or not a given member is eligible to receive this offer at the time of cancellation. That criteria involves how long a member has to have been active, what plan they had to have been active on, and what the discount will be if they choose to redeem this offer. So if I create a discount from scratch here, I get a set of options that make my retention discount highly targeted. I get to select the plan that this discount will apply to, what's the minimum amount of time the member has to have been active, and what is the actual value of the discount itself. In this case, I wanna select a specific plan for this retention discount, and I always encourage folks to create separate retention discounts for separate plans. For example, you likely would create a set of criteria that's different for retention discounts on a monthly plan versus that of an annual plan. So in this example, I wanna create a retention discount for members on the monthly plan. I wanna designate that they have to have been active for at least six months. I want the discount amount to be 50% and I want it to be on a recurring basis. This means that all members who cancel their monthly plan and were active for a minimum of six months will receive a 50% discount offer and that offer will be a recurring discount. I'm gonna create that discount and it will appear here in the list with all of my other retention discounts. You can create as few or as many retention discounts as you like here. Just keep in mind that when a member cancels a, their subscription, they're gonna receive the retention offer that they're first eligible for. Um, so this is great when it comes to having multiple tiers of retention discounts within the same plan. And it's also great from the standpoint of it lets you keep your discounts separate and monitor the success and the metrics of those discounts on a per plan and an individual basis. The second component to retention discounts is the delivery of the offer to your member who cancels their subscription. And that delivery happens by an automated email that we will send one hour after the member cancels their subscription. And that email will contain all of the elements 
of the retention discount that you created here. And to see that email and to tweak any of those settings, you can go to customize email and if we scroll down to the retention section, you're going to see this new email template here called retention discount. We've pre-populated this email template with a proven copy that tends to convert really well, but we have variables in here in this email that will automatically populate so that the automated offer that's emailed to your member is customized and pre-populated with the information that specifies the criteria that they are particularly eligible for. So you're free to customize this any way you want, but the copy that we have here is a great starting point. And I would encourage you to be as personal as possible in this email. Um, one of the things that I always see that works well is that the more personal this email is, the more likely it is to drive a member toward taking the intended action you want them to take. In this case, that action is redeeming the actual discount itself. And a few notes here on the terminology that we use for this feature for you, the membership operator, versus what the member sees on their side of things when they go to actually redeem a discount. So everything that we've talked about here has been from the perspective of you, the membership operator. We refer to this as retention discounts and setting up new retention discounts. But when your member sees this offer in their email and goes to their account to redeem the actual offer itself, this will be presented as a loyalty coupon inside their account. So your member does not see any of the terminology that says retention discount. Your member sees this show up in their account as a loyalty coupon that's applied to their existing subscription on top of any other coupons that they may also have active at that point in time. So just keep that in mind that we use the terminology of retention discounts for the admin side of things, and we use the terminology of loyalty discount on the member side of the equation. But one of the last things I want to address here is what are some common best practices when it comes to setting up these discounts and making sure that you're just starting out from a good point on when it comes to what the discount is that you're offering your members and how you know how to approach this going forward. So let's take a quick look at that. A few guidelines here on retention discounts. Number one, retention discounts work best when they target your most loyal members. I would encourage you to develop a set of criteria that define what a loyal member looks like in your own membership and then work that criteria into the criteria that we used earlier when we built these individual retention discounts. And number two, Aggressive discounts should always be reserved for your longest standing members. If you want to offer retention discounts to a member who cancels early in the process, along with offering discounts to members who cancel late in the membership process, you want to ensure that the members who have spent the most time in the membership always see the most aggressive offer. And I would consider an aggressive offer to be a discount in the amount of 60 or 70% plus. Um, that's not a hard and fast rule, but I would say anything above 60 and 70 percent would be considered an aggressive discount on a retention basis. Um, membership duration should also in inform your re retention discount strategy at a high level. What that says is that conservative discounts are reserved for members who cancel early in the process. Aggressive discounts are reserved for members who cancel late in the process. And members who cancel late in the process are the members who convert the best on a retention discount. Those are the members who have already spent the most time. Those are the members who have already contributed the most to your overall recurring revenue. And when those members are presented with a discount that's beneficial and attractive, those are always the best converting segment of members that you could present a retention offer to. And in terms of re suggested discounts, um, there's no hard and fast rule here, but these are the discount ranges that I would recommend as a general starting point. So they're all pretty similar, but for annual members on annual memberships, 
50 to 60 percent proves to be an attractive level on a recurring discount that drives a significant amount of action and then for monthly members and quarterly members a 40 to 50 percent discount on a recurring basis proves to drive the highest results and it goes without saying that larger discounts will drive higher retention rates it's just the question of knowing when to offer that discount at precisely the right time. And if you develop a set of criteria that define what a loyal member looks like in your membership, you're gonna have a very easy time answering that question. So I hope these guidelines are helpful. I hope they're beneficial. And I think you're gonna be well on your way to seeing higher retention rates if you set your discount program up in a way that takes all of these things into account. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about setting up your own retention discounts, let us know. And until next time, I'm Michael at Memberful. I'll see you soon.